What's up, y'all? This is Larry Q. Drawn Jr. I'm the h and CEO here at Larry Drawn Music. I was making this video in response to some comments that a friend of mine uh, made, uh, this, uh, this young lady by the name of Joe Gore, she made at the bottom of my Screw Religion explanation video. Um, so, yeah, I want to say this to just everybody in general. If I ever say anything, you know what I'm saying, that you don't understand, like you got questions, blase splee, if you don't want to be put on blast and posted in the joint below, send me a message. You know what I'm saying? And we'll just wrap one on one. And if you got anything that you just blatantly disagree with, that's peace too. Send that to me. You know what I'm saying? If you want to do that discreetly or if you want, you know what I'm saying? If you want to put me, uh, if you want to put it on blast down underneath the thingy, I have no problem. Uh, I have the attitude that if I don't have an answer for something, I will go find it. Uh, so with that said, I appreciate this research project because like other research projects or like other questions uh, that have been asked to me before in regard to my relationship with Jesus Christ and my belief in the Bible and blah, 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 it's just strengthened it. So what I want to do is I want to present what I have found to you. Uh, I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you the formula because we're all scientists here. You know what I'm saying? All of these videos are designed to make you think, you dig? Because we talk about the mind of Christ. God doesn't want you to be dumb. You know what I'm saying? The mind of Christ. He just simply wants you to think like him. So, Basically, what I did, man, it was really simple because this is an easy project to do. It's just tedious and, and copying all the information. I just Google searched all of the religions that she named, and then I put denial of the Son of God. Because Christians have already dealt with, like cats have already done the research. So I, it would behoove you to not just check out my video and believe what I say. I'm just a regular dude. You know what I'm saying? I just know Jesus. You need to do it on your own and come to your own conclusions. You feel me? Let the spirit of God talk to you. So with that said, you know what I'm saying? I would like to provoke you to think on some scriptures because we got to, you know what I'm saying, establish a scriptural foundation from which we can, you know what I'm saying, uh, move from. Check this out. The Bible says, uh, if we receive the witness of men, the witness of God is greater. For this is the witness of God, which he hath testified of the Son. He that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself, and he that believeth not God hath made him a liar, because he believeth not the record that God gave of the Son. And this is the record, that God hath given to us eternal life, and that this life is in his Son. He that hath the Son hath this life. He that hath not the Son hath not life. I'm going to keep going. Pretty plain and simple. Check this out. Who is a liar but he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ? He is Antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. Whosoever denieth the Son, the same hath not the Father. But he that acknowledgeth the Son hath the Father also. The Bible says that, uh, that God said from heaven whenever Jesus was baptized and the Holy Spirit descended upon him in the form of a dove, it said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. So I want you to listen to this entire argument I'm about to make from the standpoint of what God thinks about Jesus rather than the typical what Jesus has to say about God. You feel me? So we've already shown you scriptures that Jesus, that God testifies of his son being the cat to talk to about him. You know what I'm saying? About how to get back home. You need to talk to, you need to, talk to my son about how to get back home. Right? Let me let me keep going. Let me keep going. I'm gonna give you another scripture. It says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are going out into the world. Hereby ye know the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God says that every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now is already in the world. You know what I'm saying? God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance and believe on his son. So this basically what we're trying to prove is, is that anything that denies that Jesus is the son of God, that denies that God sent him to planet Earth, that denies that he resurrected from the grave and is seated in the heavens right now with his father is fundamentally anti-Christian. You know what I'm saying? And because the life, eternal life is in Jesus Christ, anything outside of him would be eternal death. That's just simple logic, right? Because we're all scientists here. We're all thinkers. <clears throat> so let me share with you guys my findings. Muslims, I'm going to read from Surah 
This is from the Quran, Surah 4171. O people of the scripture, do not exaggerate in your religion and do not say anything of Allah than the truth. Verily the Messiah, Jesus the son of Mary, is only a messenger of Allah. So his word which he bestowed upon Mary and a spirit that was from him. So believe in Allah and his messengers and do not say three, desist, it is better. Verily Allah is only one. Glorified be he then that he should ever have a son. So they deny that God ever had a son. <laughs> to him is everything in the heavens and in the earth and sufficient is our lives and overseer. The Bible says plainly that God have given everything both in heaven and in the earth to the son. You know what I'm saying? That every knee shall bow and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is the son that is Lord of all. To the glory of God. You glorify God whenever you acknowledge that Jesus is the son of God. But let's keep going though. The Baha'i faith, right? Abdul Baha said this. He said, for God to descend into the conditions of existence would be the greatest of imperfections. But the Bible says plainly that uh, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. And the same was in the beginning of God and all things were made by him. You know what I'm saying? There was not anything made that was made. Moreover, that the word became flesh and dwelt among us. So they, they deny the part that Jesus actually came to the planet. Mormons... <clears throat> It's a little bit more convoluted because they, they, they really deal with that that uh, false religious spirit that's like really close where they say a lot of things that are crazy. But check this out. Uh, <clears throat> the Bible says that if any angel comes to you, you know what I'm saying, any angel of light with another gospel, that you're supposed to rebuke him, that you're supposed to just, nah, bro, nah, you wildin'. The angel Moroni visited, uh, first of all, it professed, it professed to be the glorified son of a cat named Mormon who lived about 1400 years ago and he told joseph smith about these golden plates that contained the fullness of the gospel <clears throat> that so basically the the death burial and resurrection of jesus christ wasn't the fullness of the gospel that after that was some stuff on these golden plates that he needed to check out and that's what mormonism is fundamentally based on and that's what it's called the book of mormon um they also believe some other interesting things. They believe that Jesus and Lucifer were brothers, and they also believe that Lucifer presented an idea for salvation uh, to mankind, and that the whole fight in heaven resulted out of God choosing Christ's salvation plan rather than Lucifer's. But we already know that that don't even make any sense. Whenever you read Revelation 12, Satan got kicked out of heaven because he wanted to try to attack Jesus's only, or excuse me, God's only a begotten son who was Jesus Christ. He saw the baby and he tried to he tried to bite the baby's head off. However you want to articulate it. Read Revelation 12 whenever you get a chance and then cross-reference those scriptures with Ezekiel 28 and Isaiah 14. They all talk about Lucifer when he was in eternity. Moving on, five percenters. They share the same sentiments as the nation of Islam, which denies that Jesus Christ is the son of God. When you get a chance, check out a site called blackapologetics.com. You know what I'm saying? Buddhists, they teach that Jesus didn't rise from the dead, so they deny his resurrection, which is an integral part of our faith. The Bible says that if Christ isn't risen from the dead, that our faith is null and void. Either Jesus is who he said he is or he's not. You just got to make a choice. That's all it boils down to. You know what I'm saying? We can present this empirical evidence, but if you still don't believe it, if you would rather believe a lie than truth, that's on you. You know what I'm saying? But don't be mad at the Bible because the Bible tells you, the Bible says that God declares the end from the beginning. So he tells you, he always tells you what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Some people still make the wrong decision and they want to get mad at God. But he told you what was going to happen from the beginning. It's something to think about. Uh, Hindus. I'm going to read a quote from Mahatma Gandhi's uh, autobiography. He says, it was more than I could believe that Jesus was the only incarnate son of God and that he that believes in him could have everlasting life. If God could have sons, then we are all his sons. If Jesus was like God or God himself, then all men were like God and could be like God himself. My reason, my natural reasoning was not ready to believe literally that Jesus by his death and by his blood redeemed the whole sins of the world. Metaphorically, there might be some truth in it. I would accept Jesus as a martyr, an embodiment of sacrifice, and a divine, a divine teacher, but not as the most perfect man ever born. His death on the cross was a great example to the world, but that there, but that there was anything like uh, a mysterious virtue in it, my heart could not accept. You heard it from Mahatma Gandhi's mouth himself. He didn't believe Jesus was who he said he was. 
agnostics believe that human reasoning is incapable of providing sufficient uh, rational grounds to justify knowledge whether God exists or not. So they don't even know whether God exists or not. And what they've done is they've created a propaganda campaign to try to get you to doubt that you can ever have knowledge of God. But God sent his son that if you would just simply believe in him, you know what I'm saying, you won't perish, you'll have everlasting life. Homosexuals. This is kind of convoluted because right now in the body of Christ, body of Christ, we have a schism between cats who are claiming to be homosexual Christians and then people that are just standing on the good old word which says that homosexuality and lesbianism is wrong. You know what I'm saying? There's a cat that's purporting uh, a heresy that, that 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 the homosexuals are clinging to, a gentleman by the name of Carlton Pearson. We're just going to pray, just like we're going to pray for the homosexuals and we're going to pray for Carlton Pearson. You know what I'm saying? Uh, basically, the gospel inclusion says that you're know saying sin isn't an issue, that everybody's included and everybody's going home. But that that's scripturally untrue. You know what I'm saying? Like the Bible talks about in Romans, the first chapter, if you really want to learn about what God has to say uh, in the New Testament about homosexuality, about unnatural affections and men getting with men and women doing that is what what is not natural. Read Romans, the first chapter, uh, start at verse 16 and then go down down to verse 32 you know what i'm saying it's in there uh <clears throat> the wiccans they deny that jesus is the son of god the jews obviously they deny that jesus is the son of god but there's a book written just to jews in the new testament called the book of hebrews to all my hebraic homies out there you know what i'm saying there's that's another there's another move in the body of christ where basically we're trying to provoke israel to turn back to their father you know what I'm saying? Basically, we're going to get our relationship with God, the Father, so tight that they're going to we're going to provoke the Jews to jealousy. They're going to be like, wait a second. Jehovah was ours first. And then they're going to get their stuff together. And the Bible talks about in Ephesians, the second chapter, whenever that happens, that we're going to become one new man in Christ. And we're going to do some stuff that the planet has never seen before. But that's a whole nother discussion. You can holler at my man Sid Roth. And messianic vision and the messianic vision if you want that information uh gypsies we well hang on did we hit the druids the druids deny they deny the sonship of jesus christ Dru, druidism is simply uh celtic witchcraft you know what i'm saying celtic paganism you know what i'm saying uh gypsies they're pagans and animists that's that scripture that says that they worship the creation rather than the creator you know what i'm saying little children keep away from idols Something to think about. They deny that Jesus is the Son of God because they'd rather worship trees. Hare Krishna. You know what I'm saying? Steeped fundamentally in uh, Hinduism, which denies that Jesus is the Son of God. And then they modified it in the 1960s whenever they bought the... Well, it's either the 1950s or the 1960s. Whenever they bought it over to the U.S. And basically what they did... And see, I want you to understand what religion does. Because religion is designed to make you into this cookie cutter... You know what I'm saying... Uh, bland, destroy your uniqueness in God type individual. And because religion is bound by facts, if you watch the other video, we talked about the tree of life, which is eternal life, and then the tree of knowledge of good and evil, which is time-bound information. You know what I'm saying? You'll understand that there's a significant difference between facts and truth. You know what I'm saying? Truth never changes, but facts changes because they're based on circumstances. You feel what I'm saying? And what religion will do like facts, it will modify its message. Why? Because, you know what I'm saying, the devil is having great wrath because he knows that his time is short. So he's creating all of these distractions, you know what I'm saying, to try to, 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 try to blind your mind from the glorious light of the gospel. Because in the beginning, God separated light from the darkness. Whenever, whenever the devil started acting stupid, he was like, all right, homie. And he got Michael to handle all of that. Um... But yeah, what they were trying to do was they were trying to talk about the parallels as all these other religions do. They talk about the parallels. They talk about the knowledge of good and evil. You know what I'm saying? But they all fundamentally deny that Jesus is the door to everlasting life. That's why Jesus said that the door to damnation, the door to hell, the way to the way to to damnation is why. Because all of these cats are saying the same thing. They're talking the knowledge of good and evil, the false religion. But the way to eternal life is straight and narrow. He the only cat saying this. 
nobody else can confess that he is the son of God. It, here's what they'll do. They'll say one. It's like those three things he, that he's the son, that he is the son of God. He came to the planet. You know what I'm saying? Born of a virgin birth. He died, rose from the grave with all power in his hands. And then he went back to the father. What they'll do is they'll they'll sometimes they'll they'll name some of those. They'll name some, but then they'll try to deny other ones. You feel what I'm saying? And see, that's why you got to have that spirit of discernment. That's why you got to know what this word says. So then whenever you see those things, you'll be like, nah, homie, I'm cool. You feel me? Let's keep going. The Unitarian Universalist. Uh, they adhere to strict monotheism and maintain that Jesus was a great man and a prophet of God, perhaps a supernatural being, perhaps, but not God himself. Jesus told the Pharisees straight up, he was like, the Father and I are one. The Bible says in 1 John that there are three that bear record in heaven. It's the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. So, once again, either Jesus is exactly who he said he was, or he's not. And the thing is, is that it's up to you as a sentient being with a soul who has a will, intellect, and emotions. You have to choose the tree of life. Which is and that life is in Jesus Christ, or you have to choose this temporal knowledge, which is the knowledge of good and evil, which will pass away. Because Jesus said, "What heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words will never pass away." It's just something to think about, man. Like, I'm making these videos to make y'all think. You know what I'm saying? Forget me. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that believes, only the people that believe like Q are going to get into heaven. No. God said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. God testified that his son is the only way back to him. And the Bible says that the Holy Spirit testifies that Jesus is who he said he was in John chapter 15. John chapter 14. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't about me. I'm just a regular dude. I'm just like you. The only difference is I know Jesus. I've chosen the tree of life. I've chosen eternal life. All this temporal knowledge is cute, you know? So right now what I want to do, man, I want to pray for anybody who's watching this video and you've heard some stuff and you're like, dang, yo, I never heard it like that. And I want to accept this Jesus. I want to have a personal relationship with Jesus. I don't want religion. I don't want temporal information. All you got to do is just say this really simple prayer. Say, Father, have mercy upon me for I am a sinner. I believe that your son came, died, rose from the grave and is seated in eternity right next to you. Jesus, come into my life and fill me with your Holy Spirit. Now, I'm going to pray that you receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost because you need that. You need the Father and you need the Holy Spirit because these bear record. You know what I'm saying? These bear witness of each other, right? Okay. So I'm going to speak in tongues. Don't let it freak you out. The Bible says that tongues are a sign for the unbeliever. Since you knew to Christ, you might not believe in tongues, but I'm going to do this as a sign that you might believe. Father, Lord, help these people receive. Give them the baptism of your Holy Spirit, which is the promise of the Father. All you got to do in order to speak in tongues is try. You know what I'm saying? It says that out of your belly shall flow, shall flow rivers of living water. So all you got to do is just try to speak in tongues. God bless y'all, man. I love y'all. I love everybody. You know what I'm saying? Do not hesitate. To shoot your questions or your comments, you know what I'm saying? Whether you want to do that via messaging me or you just want to try to put me on blast in the box below, that's fine too. You know what I'm saying? I ain't afraid of no information. Next.